you know, but uh, UNM applies for grants with, from St. Baldrick's, and we have had quite a bit of money come to UNM. It's so okay. I wanted uh, you to it's talk a, video. a little bit it's okay. about that process and uh, what we've received here locally. Thank you so much for having me. I wanted to let you know that UNM actually has a perfect record in that they have applied for one grant and they received one grant. <laughs> 100% success rate, um, and I know that we'll be supporting them more in the future, and I know that you're going to hear directly more later about what that grant accomplished, but I wanted to let you know, too, that every single dollar that you raise goes to help kids here at UNM, whether the research is done here or whether it's done at, at another institution. Um, the money that comes to UNM comes in two different ways, and I won't bore you with a lot of details, but one is that every single child who's treated here on a research protocol, the university gets a reimbursement from St. Baldrick's to help pay some of the costs so that they're able to keep putting more kids on research trials so that they can keep making more progress. The other way that we find a course is by direct applications, and like I said, you've got a one-for-one -one record. Um, and I know that we're probably getting another application this fall, and we look forward to looking at that closely and hoping to fund it as well. Uh, but the bottom line is, the St. Baldrick's Foundation is not just a head shaving foundation, it's the foundation that funds more childhood cancer research than anyone in the world outside the U.S. government. And so I want you all to give yourselves a hand of applause for making that possible. Becky? UNM has actually received over $300,000, um, over $83,000, that was a director grant, and the rest has been over the years in terms of those reimbursements that I talked about to help make more research possible. Did you guys hear that? 300000 here to UNM directly from your efforts. So I want to have all of you, yeah, that's really a big deal. That's a lot of money for, for UNM. And as she said, even the money that didn't go directly to UNM, they benefit because of uh, the research that goes on and how it comes to UNM in that way. So thank you so much. We appreciate you being here. It's just a pleasure to have somebody from the corporate office come out. And we're going to see you in a minute as well. So go ahead. I want to tell you thank you because I'm on one, I'm one of those kids who are on a research plan right now. To, um, I'm one of them, so I was, I'm very thankful that you're here because because of everyone here is helping reimburse you and for my treatment. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Stuart Winter. He's one of the oncologists here, and he's one of the recipients of a grant. And um, I'm going to hand it over to him, Dr. Stuart Winter. And this is uh, Kyle Steph with Step Up to Cancer, a very cool guy, very inspirational person. Um, I, I, I just, by way of introduction, I'm one of the pediatric oncologists at UNM, and I'm the division chief. And um, I just wanted to say that we are extremely proud of our clinical trials working group. Um, uh, as you were just hearing about research uh, and the kinds of things we're doing at UNM, I'm curious, people in the audience, how many of you have been or are on a research study for cancer? Can I see any hands? If you want to identify, great. So um, one of the things that we have recently done that I think is really exciting is with our grant we bought you, a, a special machine to help us look at like, <laughs> pharmacokinetic studies for a new drug. One of them in particular no. is a form of asparaginase that can be given not as a shock but given intravenously so a much less painful but a still very effective form of chemotherapy. And so uh, we've been very successful putting our kids into that clinical trial and, um, and, and many, many others. What we use the money for is to help uh, defray some of the costs of the salary, uh, salaries of the staff that I have working on that. Uh, we also um, use the money to help uh, ship specimens in for second uh, opinions uh, and, and for research studies around the country. And also for these special drug studies that we're doing at UNM that um, I think are really, really special. So um, uh, by way of conclusion, I, I have to say as I was coming in today, I was thinking about St. Baldrick's 
and how I'm, I really want to get my head shaved here in the next few minutes. As I'm looking at all the green shirts, I'm thinking that shaving your head is a way of going green. And there are three ways that you go green when you shave your head. The first one is, um, if you've ever shaved your head, you notice that you only use about half a gallon of water when you're taking a shower. Whereas if you have a full head of hair, you're probably using a thousand gallons of water. Okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit. But every time you shave your head, some, uh, some guy in New Mexico gets to 